guys, um, RxK Queen here, and I know it's not another LP video, but this is a video that I think some of you will enjoy because it's about a certain person, an awesome person who happens to have a birthday today. So, happy birthday, Lily! <laughs> today is Lily's birthday, or Ikran Girl, whoever you want to, however you want to call her. Um, today is her birthday. Her 27th birthday. Three years to hit into 3 0, girly. Yeah. It's, I sometimes forget that she's a couple years older than me, but it's okay. She's still one of us. Um, this video is made as one of her birthday presents, so I might have this one I need to finish. Been busy the past couple days. And. I also have another little present for her, which I'm not going to state here. Um, I'm going to state that whenever I'm in a Skype call with her. And she is going to flip. Uh, and I'm going to regret doing it, but it's to make her happy. Because she is very important to me. And this is what the, this video is about. It's to show my extreme gratitude... And appreciation to her for her birthday because I feel like I don't really state it very often so I'm gonna try to keep this short and sweet and more than likely I'm gonna ramble but to those who don't know how did me and Lily the wonderful and awesome Icran girl meet um, we met in 2010 through a certain boy named Ale Dog, Alex. Y'all remember him? <laughs> um, I was talking to him one day, and Lily's the reason why I even started doing Let's Plays in the first place. And he was friends with her. And he was like, you know, you two should talk. We should get in a call together. And I'm like, no! freaking out, fangirling, all, you know, the whole shebang. I'm like, no, I can't talk to senpai. <laughs> so I went AFK, and when I came back, I think he had her in a call, and I was freaking out. I didn't say a word. I probably said maybe a couple things to her. That's it. But the next call after that was when I met Rod, and that was the next time I talked to her as well, and I opened up a little bit more. But it wasn't until we started recording the Evergame fanfiction readings that where I got close to Rod and Lily. And we were talking every night when we were recording those fanfictions, guys. Every night, almost every night, we were all in a call just chatting it up. It didn't have to be about the fanfiction readings. It, at first it was. It was to record those fan fiction chapters, but eventually it became a habit and we all just started just shooting the bull. We were talking about video games and TV shows and a bunch of stuff. And that's one thing I'll say that I'm very thankful for out of knowing Alex was meeting my, what I thought I would never be friends with. They are my great friends now. So, thank you, Alex, if you ever even watch this. But, um, but then when Alex and I broke up, the friends I thought I had, we all kind of drifted apart. Um, to be fair, I, I was kind of the one that started it. I kind of, after the breakup, I kind of wanted to get away from everybody, and I made some dumb decisions. And because of that, it kind of, you know, made me lose contact with a bunch of friends I had back then. But the only two that stuck with me was Rod and Lily, especially Lily. Um, when I was finally ready to talk about it, 
She was the first person I went to. I kept it to myself the first couple months. And then finally, um, I was like, okay, I need to talk about this with somebody. Who can I talk to it about? And I talked to Lily because she knew him and she knew me. I could have went to Lori, but she didn't really know him. So I went to Lily. And after that, we were like this. We are pretty much inseparable. We always talk, have our girl time when Rod's at work. Um, but we also have wonderful conversation when Rod is in the room. Especially about a certain... See, I'm refusing a certain proposition. And because of that, I owe him 50 pizzas. But that's okay. Um, but, yeah, long story short, if it weren't for Lily... I don't, I don't know, I don't know what would have happened to me if I made that mistake with Lily, because I can't imagine my life without her in it. She is my bestie, she's my e-mom, she's my senpai, she's everything to me. I will I will fight for her if someone alongside Rod will both be beating up somebody um if anything were to happen to her or if someone said something to her I will be straight up there like no nah, not my bestie um so and I cannot wait for my big plan next year mm, I'm doing it I'm I'm doing it guys after my summer classes, I'm going to go get a passport done. And next year, I'm hitting my ass up to Canada. And I'm going to be hanging out with Rod and Lily at some point next year. And needless to say, I'm. it gives me something to look forward to. I, I've been wanting to meet them for a long time. They are my absolute good friends. And I'm just so happy. <laughs> There's a puppy. Happy about her, too. But I, I'm really happy for her. She followed her heart despite the oppositions to go be with Rod. And I know for a fact she got a real good man. So I don't know if the dog agrees, but but no, she she's got a good man. I'm so happy for her, and I'm ha I am just want nothing but happiness for her, especially on this day on her birthday. Her first birthday up in Canada land. Yay! So, so Lily, let's finish this off. I will talk to you tonight, but I really want to state this for the video. I love you. You, I, I will, words can't describe how much you mean to me. And all that you've done for me, I will be eternally grateful. I will be eternally grateful, and I am. No words, I have no words to describe how, how much you mean to me. And I wish you the happiest of birthdays. I wish I could be there to spend it with you, but alas, I can't. Maybe next year. That's what I should do. I just should come up there next year. Oh. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Awesome birthday times next year. Eh? <laughs> but but for serious, Lily. Happy birthday. I love you. And I will talk to you tonight. And as for you guys, I will see y'all in the next video. Okay?